I'm Al Phil Reese. I'm Anna Safford. And this is Mod Po Minute, actually five minutes. We're hoping to scratch the surface of a short poem that we like. So let's get started. Well, I'm here with Josh Schuster here at the Kelly Writers House. Hey, Josh. Hi. A founder of the Writers House, visiting us from Canada. Great to be here. We're back. talking about a poem by Julia. Do we say Vinograd? Yeah. What do you know about Julia Vinograd? I well, I grew up in the uh, East Bay of California, and I just remember her books everywhere. And I found a, a book called Can Cannibal Crumbs Street Selections, and we have a poem here called Street Detail. I'll read it, and then we can talk about it. Street Detail. Torn orange peels thrown on the street make their own patterns. A bright orange Zen koan kicked aside by passing feet and enlightenment lost for another thousand years. It's kind of comic in a way, isn't it? Yeah. How so? Uh, it's like, first of all, it's you know garbage thrown on the ground. Uh, nobody cares what they're throwing. Um, orange peels here and uh, nobody's thinking that this is any of any significance whatsoever. Except makes their own patterns, which suggests aesthetics, right? Yeah, yeah. And if you really look at it, you'll find something radically beautiful. And so instead of a bright orange peel, it's a bright orange Zen koan, which yeah. means what? I would guess sort of, you know, um, a, a kind of m sort of moment in time, like a, a, a sort of intellectual puzzle, but which is just there for the moment, and it'll be gone. And you're supposed to connect with that puzzle. That and yet the people of San Francisco, out on the street, they kick it aside, which suggests... Nobody cared, and it was garbage to them. But who cares? Julia Vinograd. Yeah. Who, I'll add, by the way, that is, is the Zen koan, the throwing of the petals on the floor, um, is it the poet noticing it? Is it actually... The th a third thing, which is that what the poet noticed is that somebody kicked it, and then it became the koan. Mm. Like the thousand years, it was meaningful finally when somebody, you know, really walked over it. You made a literary, po a literary historical poetic Freudian slip. You said petals. Mm. Why? <laughs> you said petals. Yeah. Petals on a wet black bough. I mean, this is yeah. so, this owes so much to that Poundian moment. Yeah. Right? sort of imponderably big, small moment, yeah. outside, a crowd. Yeah. Well, I, but whereas I think... In and there's even the colon. Yeah, and exactly. Certain, it's got a bit, kind of haiku kind yeah. of feel to it, too. Yeah. Um, but I think whereas Pound thinks that's really this condensed moment of poetic epiphany, here she's almost mocking that or laughing a little bit, saying, yeah, it was amazing, and it really was just a bunch of peels. Um, and uh, and we fucked it up because yeah. we had a shot at enlightenment. Yeah, really. But it's yeah. now been delayed another thousand years because people don't care. And you know, if she's a street person or if the speaker is a street person, you know, there's some there's food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a kind of I mean, she always has this very like sort of homeless um, empathy and mm -hmm. um, for whatever's going on in the street and it really shines through and this seems could have just been that kind of perception as well yeah uh, final word why do you like a poem like this when we when we chose this poem before we went on the air you said no I like this kind of poem yeah I dig it um, I really like poems that have these really short you know passing epiphanies and then flip it around and say oh yeah and that's gonna go on for a thousand years Somehow, it really like this deep time frame, this poetic time frame suddenly shows up mm -hmm. right in the midst of, of a nothing right. moment. Yeah, so and like an that. even simpler way of putting that, it was, which, which was what you said was just beautiful, um, is p poems are good when they take something very, very small and blow it up into something big. Yeah. In this case, blow it up ironically into something big. Yeah. Because clearly we really haven't been set back a thousand years because of an orange peel. Yeah. Which poets are the people who th who think in we might sorts have of been, yeah. <laughs> Josh, thanks. This was great. Yeah, thanks, Al. If you liked this episode, watch another and subscribe. And join us for Modpo, a free and open course at modpo.org.